Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we're going to be talking about foundation. Foundation in question is the Revolution Pro CC Cream. This is their newest release in base products, I believe. I'm going to be doing a wear test, shade comparison, we're going to talk about the texture, how it applies and everything like that. I'm going to see my first impression and everything, but as of now, I've been trying this out for a little while now. I'll give you an update at the end of the video. My makeup is looking a little crazy because I recently faked hand and I forgot and then I applied this this morning and uh, <laughs> it was like five shades too light so please ignore what's going on my face. Okay, I'm wearing a lot of bronzer. <laughs> Also ignore my hair because it's just haven't done anything to it apart from blow dry it yesterday and it's just a bit of a bit of a mess. It's like curly up here and then like straight down here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> He's trying to ignore it. So this baby bag here is £10 by Makeup Revolution's sister brand Revolution Pro. It comes in 20 shades, which for Makeup Revolution isn't a lot. The Conceal and Define has 60 shades. It is a smaller selection, but it does seem very varied, so it does seem to have a decent breakdown of the shades. I have F02, which is for very fair skin tones with a light yellow undertone. Then it does go quite deep on their foundation range as well. I got mine off Beauty Bay, but you can get it off Makeup Revolution's website, Superdrug, I'm pretty sure. This is the description on Makeup Revolution's website. Makeup that does more. Most hardworking, multi-purpose foundation. Perfect for dry to calm combination skin. I have normal to oily skin, but I still really wanted to try this out. So this is going to be interesting to see if it works for my skin as well. It has factor 30 SPF, offers sheer to full buildable coverage whilst leaving the skin hydrated and protected. It contains hyaluronic acid and collagen and also has antioxidants like vitamin E that helps reduce any redness. And it also says plus the formula will work to diffuse the appearance of wrinkles whilst offering long lasting coverage that doesn't feel cakey or heavy on the skin. That is quite a lot of claims there. <laughs> this is the box that it comes in. It's a pretty luxe looking box if I do say so. It's a little bit more high-end looking than Revolution's normal things. And then this is what the actual foundation looks like. It's very pretty and it's got a pump on the bottom which I appreciate. All right so now we've gone through all the claims and everything. Let's get right on into some shade swatches so you can see what it looks like compared to other foundations I own. If you're just now stumbling upon my videos, hi. I hope you decide to to stick around if you do want to all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. I do a lot of videos like this on my channel. Uh, I have pretty much a whole playlist I'm pretty sure of foundation reviews so if you're looking for a new foundation to try I can link the playlist I think in the eye over here so you can check it out if you're curious about my reviews on any other foundations. But yeah without further ado let's get into some arm swatches so you guys can see a shade comparison. All right so this is gonna look a little bit insane because I've got fake tan on so none of the shades match me right now. So please bear with me. I hope you can still appreciate their comparison. <laughs> and also, don't we just love a bad fake tan? Anyway, <laughs> so we have the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade 0 0.2. Then we have the original Conceal and Define Foundation by Makeup Revolution also in the shade 0 0.7. Next over is the Conceal and Hydrate in the same shade. Then we have CYO Life Proof in the shade 101. Then we have the Zoeva Authentic Foundation in the shade 010N Aglow. Then we have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and that's in the shade 15 Porcelain. Next over we have the NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Pale. <laughs> Whenever I say that I feel attacked, okay? <laughs> and then finally we have the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear foundation and this is in the shade 008 Beige Opal, I think it is. So that's all the shades together. Alright then, let's get this face sorted. <sighs> I don't usually do this but I'm gonna prime on camera because why not? I'm using the Origins Pore Perfecting Primer because I know how that works and it makes my skin look really good. Even when it's not looking too hot like today. <laughs> it is looking better to what it was like a few weeks ago though. Um, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> okay, so let's open this baby and see what it's all about. Why do I never open stuff before I start filming? Please tell me. <laughs> okay, so this is what the tube looks like. Kind of fancy. It reminds me of like some YSL. It doesn't feel like YSL but it looks like it. I've got two tools to try as per usual. I've got my e.l.f. camo sponge and then the Real Techniques buffing brush I think this is. No, sculpting brush, but I like to use this for foundation. But yeah, let's see what the shade looks like. I'm hoping this isn't gonna be too fair. 
I decided to go a little lighter than what I usually do. Mm, no, I don't know, let's see. Let's blend it out on my shoulder by here. Whoa, that looks like it's got a, a lot of coverage. <laughs> the shade actually looks okay, like blended out. I'm a bit red because I've not long woken up. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I mean, I put a lot of product on that area and it's got a lot of coverage, so we'll see how it looks on my face. Hopefully it'll even my face out because my face is darker than the rest of me. It feels very thick, like almost like a thick moisturizer. I mean, as you can probably see on my hand, it's not budging like at all. And I pumped it up, by the way, I literally pumped out like a dot and that seems to go quite far. So um, let's see what this looks like on the face. So I'm quite excited now. I'll be honest, I was not expecting it to look like that. I'm just gonna pick up whatever's on my hand on my brush and let's try applying it on the face. It's a very thick consistency. Feels very light though on the face. I don't know if this is maybe a little bit too fair, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll make it work. Oh no, actually down the neck. It looks pretty good. Just, you know, my face compared to the product is a bit crazy right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a full pump now. That's what a full pump looks like. Just add a few dots to my face and blend it out. Whoa. The coverage on this is insane. Is this supposed to be a CC cream? <laughs> what? CC stand for complete coverage? I'm confused. <laughs> like, it goes such a long way. I can't believe all of this, oh my god. I may have to go in with my sponge on the side to absorb some of the product because <laughs> there's way too much on my face. Looking a little streaky with the brush right now, so I may prefer it with the sponge. Look, look at the difference on my face. <laughs> uh, but this matches my chest pretty well, so I'm happy about that. I quite like the undertone. I'm now just gonna try it on the side with the sponge. See how far it goes and how it blends out. Okay. So yeah, a lot less coverage, kind of expected of a sponge. Just gonna go over this side to kind of remove any brush strokes. My skin though looks so good. Oh my God. I'm gonna go in with like a half pump just to finish up my forehead. I'm gonna try just using the sponge to apply it. Wow, I love the finish of this. It's so healthy and glowy looking and it makes the skin look plump. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look smooth over, but it also does. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, it looks very much like skin, but like good skin. Like I haven't got too many pores or anything like that. It's looking, it's looking pretty good right now. I'm very impressed right now. <laughs> Let me just touch my face. So it is a little bit tacky, which I would expect with this kind of finish. So I'm gonna definitely have to powder it down. But I don't mind if my skin looks like this. I'm not gonna powder down too much because I really like the finish, but I am oily, so I will have to set my face. I've actually got a new concealer to try, so why not try this out with you guys right now? <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to be fair enough with this. This is by Nabla. It's their close-up concealer. I've got the shade Porcelain. I think it was Terry. I think you told me to try some Nabla products because they were really good. So I picked this up. It was in the sale. So I thought I'd try it out. Oh my god. This smells exactly like the I Heart Revolution concealer. It's like a coconutty, vanilla-y kind of scent. Oh my god, I just want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, let's try this out as well because my under eyes are looking sad right now. <laughs> got that big ass doe foot, you know, like pretty much all concealers do now, <laughs> which I appreciate because it's just quick and easy and you don't have to keep dipping back in for product. Let's see how much coverage this has. The color's pretty good. Pretty much matches the foundation, to be honest. Mm, it's not doing a lot for my under eye lines right now. They're not looking the best. I mean, it's not the worst they've looked, but they definitely don't look their best. <laughs> Maybe if I apply just a little bit more. I don't know, I'll keep trying it. See if I like it with other products, you know, you never know. Maybe it just doesn't mix in with this foundation very well. I'm just gonna leave it there for a sec for a bit more coverage. Starting a little bit later in the day today. It's now almost 25 past 11. But hey, the hours are turning into days, into weeks. So, you know, who knows what is time anymore. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna call the check-in time now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Blend this concealer before I go. <laughs> All right, the concealer is looking a little bit better with a little bit more product. I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, so I thought I'd do a quick check-in. My makeup took me a lot longer than what it usually would. <laughs> it's now quarter to one, just about. Uh, don't mind my phone holder. TikTok made me buy it, okay. <laughs> I was just filming one, so that also made me take longer, but still. <laughs> the reason I took longer than usual was actually my concealer. I really dislike that Nabla concealer. I put it on, then powdered it down, it looked awful. So much so that I had to take it off. So I took it off, reapplied it, did it again, and I just hated it. So <laughs> I've changed my concealer, um, so I'm not wearing that anymore, but 
yeah, it just, I just couldn't. It looked so bad. <laughs> I also look a little insane because I haven't done my eyeshadow or my lips. I've just got some lip balm on. And I put on a lot of blush because I'm doing a wear test on the Fenty blush to see how long it lasts on oily skin once it's powdered down. One of you guys asked for that, so I'm going to be doing that. But yeah, let's take a look at the foundation. I'd say it's still looking pretty good. It's still looking pretty smooth but I still have that shine to my face. I have powdered down my skin. The one place it's actually kind of looking a little bit separated is actually on my forehead. Don't know if it's like a brush that's taken off a bit of product, but it's just looking a little bit patchy. Hopefully over time it might warm up to my skin and look a little bit better, but we shall see. So far I'm liking the way it looks over the rest of my face and the shade is pretty good. So um, I'm gonna now go sort the rest of my face out go about the rest of my day and check in with you in a few hours. Hey you guys, so it's now just gone 4 p.m. So this has been on my face for like, what, five hours? Is it? I don't even know. <laughs> so I'm starting to look a little bit oily, but not too crazy. This is like a nice kind of dew to my skin, a nice kind of sheen. I quite like my skin looking like this. <laughs> Maybe I would powder down this area just by here because it's reflecting the light quite a bit in my smile lines. <laughs> but my skin looks really smooth. I think that's one thing that I can't get over is how smooth my skin looks right now. My forehead has done what I thought it would do and has kind of evened out the tone, warmed up to my skin so it's not showing that kind of weird texture going on. So that's great. It's not sinking into my fine lines. It's not showing my texture. It's not showing my pores. It doesn't feel heavy and it's actually been powdered down and the tackiness has gone away. It's just holding up really well. I'm impressed so far. Yeah, there's nothing much to report with this. It just looks a little bit shinier than it originally did. <laughs> Let's hope that it stands up against the test of time and we'll see what it looks like in a few more hours. Hey guys, it is now almost 10 past 9. Um, this has been on my face for quite a long time and I kind of want to wash my face now. <laughs> Actually, a little bit chilly, so don't mind me. One sec. <laughs> in my natural habitat in a sweatshirt. <laughs> My lipstick has pretty much all come off by the way my hair was doing my head in, so it's up. But I needed to report back to you guys, so I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this foundation. I have a feeling I'm gonna look very oily and from the viewfinder I think I look very oily. <laughs> let's have a look up close, shall we? Yep, I was right. I'm oily and I know it. So the foundation is still visible on my face through my oils, which is good news. On my upper lip, I must have like touched my face or something because it's kind of got like little patches of where it's come off and it's looking a little bit textured there now. But my cheek area, my forehead, everything like that is still looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm just very oily, but the actual product is still there. It hasn't like dissolved, it hasn't patched off. Maybe a little bit of fading on my face by here, but I've actually been editing and been like leaning and stuff so that would explain that. Again a bit's come off on my nose but it's probably because I've touched it at some point throughout the day so it's just kind of smudged off. Same around my nostrils, my nose was running earlier so not a surprise that it's kind of come off around there. Before a CC cream foundation that had a super dewy finish when I initially put it on I'm really impressed with this actually. <laughs> I think I might wear this for another day or two, see how I get along with it a little bit more. I want to try it with like different primers because it really worked with the Origins one. But yeah, so far I really like it. I am impressed that it stayed on and looks all right at the end of the day after many an hour. I mean, it's been what, like 10 hours I've been wearing this somewhat? Yeah, like 10, 11 hours. It's been a while. <laughs> And at the end of the day, it's a CC cream. It's not an actual long wear foundation, you know? So props with props is due. This has lasted quite a while. And I really like the finish of it. It was a bit touch and go in some areas, but I think it really warmed up to my skin. And I mean, this is a 10 pound foundation and I'm very impressed so far. So that is it for this part of the video. We'll probably now go to future Kiriel in her bedroom. Please let the people know, how is the foundation doing over the next couple of days? Will it be better than today? Who knows? I have officially lost my mind. Um, <laughs> I am going to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I'll do future check-ins for you guys to see if I like this even more or if it does something weird. We shall see. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry this video is a little bit muddled up and I was in the intro too, but I thought I'd just give you an update on this foundation. So I've actually worn this quite a few times now. I just thought I'd give you an update on my thoughts after using it with different primers and just an overall perception of wearing this over a longer span of time. I really like this. The finish is so beautiful and it does really give your skin like a flawless finish. It's very sheeny, it's very dewy, but it doesn't feel heavy. 
fluffy or cakey or just, you know, like wet <laughs> on the face. And it's really high coverage for a CC cream, which I really appreciate. It's buildable. And I found myself actually reaching for this quite a lot. Like I've worn this in a few videos. One of my most recent one would be like trying the TikTok hacks. It's just one I'm gravitating towards. And considering I have like my favorite foundations, which is like the Lancome Tint Eye Doll foundation. I love that. Even Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. I really love that one. But I have my select favorites that I'd usually go towards, you know? And this is slowly but surely turning into one of those products where I reach for and I use a lot, which if I'm honest, I didn't think I would. I was like, CC cream, eh. Um, but no, this is really nice. It's got SPF in it, which is great. And I feel like this is a really good daily foundation. Even for me, of someone who has like oilier skin and this is for dry skin, I just love the way it sits on the skin. It really sinks in and just looks like you have glowing, beautiful skin. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a little update. I'm really enjoying it and I really like it. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit the red button down below and the bell button just so you get notified of my up-to-date uploads. Let me know if there's any other foundations you'd like me to try in the comments down below. Please leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. <laughs> my arm. <sighs> my mom's on fit. Oh my gosh, my arm's already aching. <laughs> Exactly like the I Heart Rock. The one place where it's looking a little bit separated is that. Oh my god. When we were on honeymoon, heaven no honeymoon, heaven no my baby. Ghosts in the crazy. Can we get it back the way it was? Let's hope up. What? <laughs> Let's hope it stands up. And just wait for the Star Wars theme tune to stop or Star Trek, whatever it is. <laughs> Star Trek. I ow my eye. Something went in my eye. Like a flawless, like a flawless. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs>